I'm starting to become very glad that we found this sledge turret. I mean, seriously. <laughs> it's been awesome. Um, oh. Holy shit. Come on, turret. Help me out here. Oh. I think I've seen everything now. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on the Rebirth mod. I am the Bearded OG, and before we get started, I just want to do a quick uh, shoot from the hip public service announcement. I haven't even really rehearsed this. It's just kind of some things I want to talk about real quick. So uh, first of all, it is Veterans Day as I'm recording this. So I just want to give a shout out to all of the veterans out there. Thank you for your service. Um especially, uh, well, all of you really, but especially those who have given their life for our country. Um, can't thank you enough. You know, I mean, how can you thank somebody enough for doing something like that? So I just want you to know that, uh, this bearded OG really appreciates all of you for your service. Really, really do. Thank you. Uh, secondly there, um, I, I just want to, and I, I hate to even have to bring this up, but I need to, to bring it up. And that is that, uh, please be really careful about leaving any comments um, on my channel that are of a political nature or could even be um, construed or misconstrued um, as political or otherwise volatile. OK, um, I had a comment this morning that I felt uh, didn't necessarily personally offend me, but I felt like it could be offensive or at least taken that way, you know, by some other viewers. And so. I pointed that out to this individual. They wanted to argue with me, and so I just shut them down because this channel is a place for gaming, right? Um, it, it's a place for us to enjoy games, uh, talk about the games, have fun, to escape from you know the bullshit of the real world, and that's what it's about. And I just there's no room whatsoever for politics, uh, for or any other you know divisive topic. So please keep that in mind, uh, you know and when you're leaving that comment, leaving a comment about that sort of thing, you know, just use the judgment on that. And I would really appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Also, if you guys haven't figured this out by now, <laughs> I'm usually a few episodes ahead of you. Of course, those of you who are members, uh, you know, mid or high tier members uh, of the channel get, you know, early access to the videos. Um, but so, you know, if you guys leave me a comment and I say, yes, I I've already know that, or I figured that out, you know, please don't, um, two things about that. First of all, I still very much appreciate the comments because, um, you know, I want to interact with you guys, but if I already know it, I already know it. Right. So don't ever take that as me, you know, blowing you off or anything like that. I do appreciate the comment, but I have to also let you know that I know it too. Right. So, uh, you know, so kind of keep that in mind, um, and, and keep, you know, leaving comments like that because sometimes, you know, you do say things that I didn't know. Um, and so I, I just want to let everybody know, I appreciate it. I appreciate all the views that, you know, the channel's getting, I appreciate Furious Ramsey for just kicking the absolute living shit out of me in the last episode <laughs> with the hard night. I just love this, you guys. I really am. It's just, you know, playing this mod, it, it, I have never, I mean, I've played other over, overhauls for seven days die, and they've been really good, but this is something else altogether. And I mean that in a very good way. So, you know, God bless uh, Furious Ramsey and the team. You know, he's got a team helping him with this, too. You guys are just amazing, uh, and I so appreciate it. Okay, so anyway, enough about all of that stuff. Let's go ahead and jump into the game and get started uh, with today's episode. Um, I have turned off the little indicator uh, in the middle of the HUD. I just realized that, you know, it's not something that I really pay attention to, and it's just it's a little bit distracting and a little bit immersion-breaking for me. Uh, if you like it, by God, more power to you, use it. But it's just not not for me. So I turned that off, um, and we won't uh, be seeing that anymore. Uh, let's see. What else did I do? I have – oh, I talked to uh, Furious Ramsey uh, in the comments, and he informed me that um, that Goldie will always uh, pick up the blueprints off, off of the zombie corpses, and they'll always go into her inventory and not mine. The ones that go into my inventory are the ones that I would loot, say, like out of a mailbox. So what that means is we're basically going to keep these, um, uh, well, actually, on second thought, 
let's not keep them on here. We'll still take them out of her inventory when, um, you know, when we're back at the base, but it means that I don't need to keep them in my inventory and that frees up, uh, frees up five slots. I have also had also been, you know, putting these fragments or keeping those in the inventory. And I got to think, well, why the hell am I doing that? Cause these are pretty rare and it's just taken up another two slots. So we're removing all of that. We're going to unlock all of these slots. Um, so that way, you know, I have, um, I, I have more inventory space, obviously. Right. Um, I did go out and I wrenched a bunch of cars made about 1800 or so cash from selling those parts and bought the ghost missions so that we can go get the mortar and pestle. And I also made um, a bunch of Molotovs, which apparently I must have auto looted back into here. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Actually, I didn't make them. I'm going to make them. I, 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 I have all the stuff too, but I just, I didn't actually make them. I had to, I had to uh, log out before I did that. So we should have, uh, yeah, we should have enough to make 20 or 19. Okay. 19 Molotovs. Very good. Uh, so we're going to start, you know, using Molotovs, put them to use for us because uh, we need all the help we could get, especially here again, if you watch the last episode. Um, but we'll keep those. Uh, let's just keep those on the toolbar. And I'd kind of like to actually put them in the main toolbar so I can just get to them as quickly as possible. So we'll put them in the number nine slot for now. Um, all right. The other thing is, is... I think what we should do, it looks like I don't have any normal bandages. So let's just make the cheapies and I don't want to make 34. Let's make say 10 of those. So we have some kind of, uh, you know, medical healing and that I'm going to actually put in the number 10 slot here. Okay. So we're, uh, we're in decent shape on food. I've got four distilled water. So let's throw two of those back right now and that'll get us back in good shape on hydration. Um, so, you know, we need to do some hunting. The other thing I wanted to tell you is that I did have an airdrop off camera. It was way out here. So I just estimated that that's where it is. Um, I don't use airdrop markers, at least not in normal rebirth. I did turn them on on the purge uh, because they're way, way more important in the purge than they are in here. So at some point we need to go out and see if we can find that. I, uh, oh, look at that level two dexterity. Nice. And I also want to focus on uh, making even more money. Uh, and the main way to do that, of course, is wrenching or picking stuff up to sell it so that we can start buying some of the perk books to start making ourselves stronger because, God, we need it. You know what I'm saying? We really, really do. Okay, so the goal for this episode is to do the uh, mortar and pestle. Now, if you guys don't know how that um, mission works... We, it's going to be, I don't know how it's going to go, to be honest with you, because our main melee weapon is not a good weapon to, to use in that particular mission. And you'll see why, you know, once we start it for those, again, for those who don't know, um, and I'm hoping that the Molotovs will actually help, uh, in that mission. I don't know if they will or not, but we're going to try that. And we might even see if we can, well, I don't know that the robotic sledge is, I mean, I guess it could help a little bit. There's not really any harm in putting it down, I don't think. So we'll use that. Uh, but I'm very low on ammo. But the problem is, here again, um, I need that mortar and pestle to advance as a witch doctor. Uh, until I get it, I, I can't do any witch doctor -y stuff. Zero, zilch, <laughs> none. <laughs> so <laughs> we really got to get that. The other thing that we're kind of facing here is that it's getting dark and I don't want to do that at night because I've got the zombies set to nightmare speed and they're on feral sense at night. So yeah, we got that going on too. So what I think I might do is I might cut the camera and go out, spend a couple more hours wrenching a few more cars and then wait the night out and then bring you guys back in the morning and then we'll go do that quest. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. So I will see you guys uh, in the morning of day nine.
All right, guys, it is morning. We're going to stop off at the trader and sell a couple more things, um, make a couple of armor repair kits. Um, you know what? I was uh, Something just occurred to me. I'd like, you know, since we lost our, our workbench from the horde, can I make another hammer and pliers tool? I've got a pliers there. I don't want to use this hammer because that's the only other hammer I have for repairing. Okay, I don't. So what I think we'll do, I mean, I do have this one that I carry with me in case we need it out in the field. So why don't we take these pliers over there and we'll just keep them in the bench until we come across another hammer. I think that's what we'll do. Okay, so we'll put those in there. We'll make two armor kits. And we will just keep this in here until I come across another hammer to make that tool. And, of course, we I, I still have yet to find a screwdriver. It's kind of funny because I found a lot of them in the purge, but I haven't found very many here. Um, all right, let's go to here. We need to repair our chest piece and our boots. So let's do that. And they should go back into here. Gloves are about halfway down. Half's only about 25% down. Uh, this is extra iron that I had, so I'm just going to turn all of that into forged iron. Oh, by the way, I did make myself um, an iron pickaxe. I just needed forged iron for that. And I need at some point I need to spend some time just getting some clay because I need that to make um, you know bullet tips and brass casings. So let's just leave this in here. And I think that's all we need to do there. Um, I guess we could have just sold all of these to Elias here. Um, all right, let's go starting with this. Let's see, we have 448. I already have one of each of these vehicle parts in uh, at the base. Um, and I have mechanical parts and acid and that sort of thing. Okay, that got us up to 837. Now I want to take, and uh, uh, I actually want to buy this electrical repair kit so that we can repair this. And I'm going to do that. And normally I would wait till it breaks, but I'm going to do this now because uh, I want this in top condition for our mission. Okay, so that's done. Uh, we still have, uh, we only have 312 cash left at the moment. Oh, you know, the other thing is I completely, well, I haven't completely forgotten, but um, we can do jobs for Rex because I fixed that issue. Snappy. It, there was nothing wrong with the mod. It, I, I just had inadvertently disabled jobs, not meaning to, of course, which is what inadvertently means. Anyway, um, let's take a look at his jobs. So these are all tier ones. Some of them could, though, be... Um, they could, they could be, uh, not feral. What the hell is it called? Uh, infested. Yeah. And we won't know until we do it. So yeah, that's fun. Um, we could do a buried supplies and maybe get some food and stuff. Uh, but I don't think we need to. I don't, I don't think it's like it is in vanilla where we have to do that first before it unlocks everything else. Cause obviously we see these. So is there anything here that could be like, okay, we got the mini mart. Anything like a tool store, Hamilton, Greenbelt, BJ's Gas, Charlie, Presley, Cemetery, Delta Creek, Moe's Grocery. Um, okay, let's let's do the let's do the pop and pills. Job for a simpleton like you. Okay, and does that tell us how much we'll get for that pop and pills? Yeah, see, we don't get a lot of money for. Uh, missions in Rebirth. Not like you do in Vanilla. I mean, it's less than Vanilla, I should say. So, it's worth it to resume. Um, Goldie? What in the actual fuck is happening now? Oh, he's got an explosive device. Oh, we got it! <laughs> Look at 
pet. We got it. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, oh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. All right, that was scary. See, there's not really a whole lot anymore now that's going to surprise me. Just scare me. <laughs> there's just stuff that's going to scare the fuck out of me. Uh, here, let's use this on here. What? Oh, no, not again. Seriously? Come on, man. <sighs> okay, I... Whoa, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm just going to run away from that for now. I, I can't deal with that. I can't deal with this shit right now. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna run away from them. I mean I will fight those things. I absolutely will, but I just you know, we we can't do it right now. We're not in a position to do that right now. So we're just gonna run away. We're gonna lead those motherfuckers away from our our city. Maybe even out into the woods a little bit, and then they can fuck off. Okay, so we are uh, way out here uh, to the east, and I just I just ran. I didn't even stop the fight, Zeke, or anything, because I want to make sure we get far enough away that those guys will just um, resume. You know, just kind of stop and hang out, I guess. I hear something else that sounds very frightening over that way somewhere. Um, okay, let's go. Let's go over here. There is a POI up here. And that's, that's a survivor. Uh, you guys told me in the comments that, oh, we need this, we need this pig. Resume. Nice. You told me in the comments that, um, the way to tell bandits from survivors is the survivors typically have like, you know, survival or military gear on and the bandits have like colorful, you know, jumpsuits, sweatpants, that kind of thing. So that's an easy way to tell. Oh, there is one other thing. Um, I have confirmed and I have received confirmation in the comments that the scythe, uh, the scythe sickle does indeed do uh, bleeding damage, even though it doesn't say that it does. And it also harvests just as good as the knife does so there's really no point in us carrying this around at all um i just don't see the point in it so we're gonna ditch that and no longer carry it and i suppose we could put this on here and that'll give our axe a little more durability which is good uh, okay uh, let's move this back over to here and we got ourselves a little meat which is good very good here's a backpack a couple backpacks actually Oh. Halt. Resume. Shotgun choke. And uh, we also got a new uh, cassette tape. Space, uh, space mesh. Let's see what that one is. Cool. Uh, all right. So, um, we need to get started with this. Yeah, that that's a survivor. We need to get started with this uh, mortar and pestle quest. Oh. Resume. We have to loot her because the bandit or the survivor killed. Uh, yeah, let's not mess with that POI. Let's go ahead and get started with this quest. I don't know where it's going to send us. 
Um, let's move kind of back over this way, I guess. I don't know why it matters, but... Okay. Yeah, let's move... Let's get out on the highway. <sighs> okay. I just... <laughs> I feel like I need a second to take, catch my breath. It's just non-stop here. Oh, my God. Um, all right. What is this? This is light armor. Um, and what is the bonus? Use less food. Mm. That could be damn useful. Okay. Well, let's... I, I don't know. I'll, I'll think about that. As opposed to, you know, selling it or keeping it. Okay. Here we go. Let's read this. Rumor has it the Black Shield has been experimenting with robotic technology and some of their prototypes escaped. Someone needs to hunt them down. Here's 40 bullets and a stone sledgehammer. You'll come to learn that not all weapons are effective against metal entities. Use guns or blunt weapons. Here's a few bandages for when you end up bleeding from their bites. Bites being a clue. After killing all of the prototypes, you will find the mortar and pestle schematic. Okay, the thing is, is it gave us the wrong kind of bullets. And... What we could do here, it, well, yeah, it knockdown's not going to matter for these particular enemies. However, um, we could still use this for extra damage. And we're level 10 now, too. Okay, so that's an ascension. That basically, well, here's, let's take a look and see what it means. If we go to misery... Zombs have a 5% chance to have periodic speed bursts. Okay, that's not too bad. <laughs> it's going to get worse, though, but that's not too bad. Um, what? How far uh, how, or how close are we to natural selection? 500 Zeeks. Okay, and we've killed 441. So when that happens, god damn it, they're, <laughs> they're going to have... Well, it's a 10% chance, okay? Base chance, whatever that actually means. There's other factors, I'm sure. They get 20% more health, regenerate half per second, run 5 or walk 5% faster to 20... Oh, my God, really? 20% more damage? <laughs> oh, man, why am I doing this to myself? Okay, I mean, we can't not kill zombies, right? <laughs> so we just got to keep going and do the best we can, right? Um... All right, where is this quest at? Let's go here. Okay, so it's just north of the trader. That's good. Um, you know, being they wouldn't have to go a million miles away. Um, that boss and his group, I don't think has despawned. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we might have pigs in here, which is actually a good thing. Yeah. If I okay, Goldie. Drink some water. If I tell her to hunt, she should just go attack that, right? Let's try it. Hunting. Uh. Why isn't she? Oh, she's going after something else. Oh, does she prioritize zombies over animals? Is that what it is? Full control. Alright, let's put her back on full control then. I kind of figured she'd go after that those pigs. Oh shit. Stamina? Okay, yeah, let's let go. Oh, fuck. Uh, Goldie, get the pig's attention. I need a little stand. Oh, shit! You are now level two witch doctor. All right. We still need the mortar and pestle, though. Okay. Let's get the kill on you. All right, we'll harvest you for the meat because we desperately need some food.
And while we're here, let's pick up these potatoes as well. I know we're getting sidetracked, but that's the story of my life. Uh, we'll just sell those because we already have them, of course. Any more potatoes that aren't dead? Uh, they're not jumping out at me. Okay, um, there's a big mama sleeper zombo. Should have probably tried to do a sneak attack, but whatever. Another one of those motherfuckers? So, I guess... Here, let's get rid of you first. So we just headshot him. Okay. Nice. So he's probably like, I'm guess. Oh, good. We need that. Uh, he's probably like the demo, right? We don't want to hit the the no no button on his chest. Uh, but he gives us demo uh, demolition charges, which is nice. Let's set the toolbox down for a second. Did I not bring the toolbox with me? Or did I set it down and leave it somewhere? What in the hell? Where's my toolbox? Damn it. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. I don't know what the hell I did with it. Okay. We were going to put... Where's that sledgehammer? Here. Let's put that down there. I feel like we were, went to do this like 10 minutes ago and we've had something happen ever since, right? Um, let's modify this and swap out the grave digger for the bunker buster. Can I put? I can? All right. If you're going to let me do it, I'll do it because it'll make it uh, just a tiny bit stronger. Um, okay. I just feel like my head is scrambled right now. Let's go back over here. We need to work our way back towards the trader. You take care of him, I'll take care of her. Oh, look at that. Electric fence schematic. That's nice. There's a booger. You get the booger, Goldie. Does he do his little acid spit on the dog? Oh, yep, he does. Okay, that kind of hurt her a little bit. I am I know I have ammo, but I'm trying to conserve it for this mission that we're about ready to do. And we're also fatigued, too. Hmm. Since we are fatigued... Oh, there's a tool store. We got to remember that's there. Um, save waypoint. Okay. We're not messing with it right now. I was about to say something and I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Fatigued. So, um... What we should probably do is go cook some, boil some water. Um, look at all that stuff, nice. And drink it, and that way we can save our distilled water. We will get to that mission in this episode, I swear it. <laughs> it's just that with that, you know, that boss and team showing up, that really changed our plans a bit here. We want to wrench this because it will give us a guaranteed radiator. Okay. Oh, fuck, we got a bandit. Oh, no! You motherfucker! Yeah, eat his ass. Just don't eat mine. 
Aww. Okay, so when Goldie dies, she respawns on our bedroll. So she's not actually dead. She just figured, you know what? Enough of this shit. I'm going to go take a break. That's what actually happened, okay? Oh, that sucks, though, really. Um, I guess we're, yeah, we're actually near our, our job location. I'm fatigued. All right, you know what? Fuck it. We got to take this right now. I can't be fatigued and be out here doing all the rest of this shit. And I'm going to try and avoid these slow Zeeks and just get back because time's getting away from us, man. It's already almost 10 a.m. If I have to ditch the backpack to fight, I will. But if I don't have to, I won't. You know what else? I mean, I could take a steroid, but dudes, thirst. It's a thing. Know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to try and work my way back to the base with minimal conflict. Confrontra uh, confrontation. When we get back, I'm going to make a bunch of boiled water and drink it while the vitamin's still active. So that way, again, we can preserve our distilled water. Since that shit's expensive. Okay, I think I'm almost positive that's a bandit in front of us. Let's go this way. I want to check in here for bicycle parts. Those aren't bicycle parts. But they're valuable, though. Okay, I hear a wolf. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's in that house. Okay. Just keep. Oh, shit. No, you don't run away, motherfucker. You attack me, you die. Nope, 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 no, 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 shit, run. <laughs> I could have used that meat. Damn it, Jim. <sighs> okay. He got, he got out of that house quick. I figured I'd have enough time to get away. Let's just, I might have to take a steroid here. Yeah, they're being buffed. Okay. We got to do what we got to do to survive, ladies and gentlemen. What? Oh, I was going to say, I was going to say, Ramsey, did you, <laughs> did you change the way steroids work? Just took a second for it to kick in. Oh, man. It's just one thing after another, man. Okay, let's um fill those up. Is Goldie here? Yeah, there she is. Okay. And there is my toolbox. All right, let's make boiled water. Okay, uh, I think we'll probably just sell that. We have eight minutes on the vitamins. Is there any food I could eat? Oh, yeah. Let's eat, well, actually, yeah, it doesn't look like we can make any of this special dishes with what we currently have. Uh, we, oh, we can make six grilled meat. Okay, that's pretty good. That'll get us back um, fairly close to where we need to be. Um, I don't want to use use the uh, auto stacker thing because some of these parts I'm going to keep in my inventory and take over to the trader, so I'm just going to do this the hard way. Okay, we'll make um, a few bandages here. I could also make a big one. What does that take? Nah, I'm going to save my beer for when we need need it. Let's throw these back. Do I have any more boiled water? I do. I've got four. Okay, so we're going to throw these back. And then I think I'm going to refill them again. Let's eat all of these. And then once our health cap 
is back to full, then I'll take the bandages. Um, I have... I've got seven glue. So, yeah, I think I'm... Uh, yeah, let's turn these into boiled water again. Okay, we'll finish eating the meat here. I'm going to drink one more of these while we still have our vitamin active. And that should get our hydration pretty much maxed out. Yeah, okay. Now, let's take one of these to start healing and also deal with that abrasion that we have. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and re see where, where are we at? We got about four minutes left. I'm going to try and drink one more of these uh, right before the vitamin expires. Hopefully I'll remember to do that. I probably won't. Don't hold me to it. And then let's swap you for now. Let's take another bandage. Um, actually, no, let's Let's do, use these bandages, and we'll save the better ones. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. Man, it is already noon. Unbelievable. Um, so our food's not terrible. We could still... Uh, why don't we cook three baked potatoes, actually? And I guess I could just eat canned food since we're on the... Yeah, what the hell? Let's just eat canned food. I'm going to save... Yeah, let's eat... I want to get the food all the way back up, or at least almost all the way back up. Okay, so this will give us um, four each. So that's another 12. And I think we'll save the can this last can of peas. So that should get us nearly topped off okay let's uh let's head out i like this uh take my pulse song it's pretty cool Turn that into scrap brass. Let's go over to Briston. All right, there's 19 more rounds. And I am, I'm just gonna sell these. Let's keep the clay over here. All right, so the question is... Oh. Is that boss group far enough away to where we can... All right, I think this is part of that boss group. Resume. So let's just kill him. Oh yeah, we gotta kill this fucker first because he's buffing him. Come on, man. I just healed. Oh, there's another buffer. All right, Goldie, soften him up for me, please. You deal with him while I take care of this asshole. Yeah. Okay. Come on in. Oh, 
another buffer. We've unlocked uh, Sickles 3. Okay, good. Uh, let's look at that for a minute. We go to here. Oh, no, sorry. We're looking. Uh, we need to look here. Okay. So we're 50.34% per, uh, on the way to green. I think we're going to just keep using the orange one for now. Um... All right, let's take this. Uh, let's get you back down on the toolbar. Is that a... Yeah, no, that's a survivor. The other way you guys told me I can tell is that the survivors will have actual names, whereas the bandits just say bandit, so... All good information. All right, let's move up the road and see if we can get this mission started. It's only been like, what, four in-game hours later? Unbelievable. Uh, the other thing that sucks, too, is that Goldie... Where is Goldie? Goldie. Yeah, her health's down, too. I need her at full health for this mission. Uh, nope. Oh. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick her up. And I'm going to wait five minutes before I put her back down to heal her. And I'll just deal with these onesie twosies arms myself. Oh man, this this sledge is helping a ton here. <laughs> That's awesome. Fuck you. Oh. We can do a melee. Um, oh shit. Horde. We can do a melee um, book now. Okay, that horde should theoretically leave us alone if we just GTFO. Because they, you know, they're like normal wandering hordes. They don't zero in on the player um, with Voodoo Witchcraft. Let's um, let's put this up here. Uh, no, you. We need a bicycle frame. No moss. Okay, we'll keep looking. That's the other thing, man. We really need to get a vehicle as soon as possible. Starting to become very glad that we found this sledge turret. I mean, seriously. <laughs> it's been awesome. Um, oh. Holy shit. Come on, turret. Help me out here. Oh. I think I've seen everything now. Oh shit. Um we can't we can't scrap this, can we? No. 
and I'm yeah I don't even see the point okay we're almost there and you know we do need to actually make sure the area is clear too so let's uh let's kind of go around the quest point and make and make sure that it is indeed clear I have to I have to remember that this sickle has bleed. I just I don't think about that and kind of you take you know get the debuff going on the enemies sooner, you know? Let the bleed kinda of help work for us. I'm just not used to it. Cause I'm used to using a, a knife for that, you know? Or a machete or whatever. Let's go close enough just for this biome to register on the map. I don't know if it's the burnt or the wasteland. That way we just, you know, know where it is, right? So if this guy's by himself, is he just a normal Zeke or is he still a buffer? Get some pleads going on him. Come on, turret. What the fuck is your problem? Oh, there it goes. Sometimes you just gotta yell at it, I guess. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that looks like burn biome. Most dangerous biome in Rebirth. Okay, that's enough to get it on the map. Let's not go any closer. Okay, let's repair this. So I probably won't be using it for this mission. Let's get Goldie back out. Resume. Okay. Um, we have the sledgehammer here. We have the Molotovs in nine. Let's put the Molotovs in six so they're it's all kind of together. And we have 39 rounds. All right, I think those zombs are probably far enough away where we don't need to worry about it. Let's top off our health. And I did forget to drink before the vitamin wore off, so whatever. I figured that was probably going to happen. Let's take one of these. And if I feel we need to, we might need to pop a beer too. So let's put the beer in the number nine slot. Okay. Here we go, you guys. This is going to be interesting. You ready to go, Goldie? Okay, let's get over here. What I want to do is see if I can... Well, if we're going to use a Molotov, we need to... Is this going to hurt the serv... Oh, fuck. Damn it. Okay. It is also hurting the snakes, though. Sorry, survivor guy. What a kind of an asshole am I? You're trying to help me here, and I set you on fire. It's very hard to hit these guys, too. It's the thing. There's something else going on over there. Okay, Goldie's doing fine. She's in pretty good shape. We should focus on the boss snake, though.
If I put this down, is it going to help at all? Let's see. It might not be able to reach the snakes. Well, it looks like it's trying to track them on the ground, maybe. Uh, well, that's actually, I think, me just being too far away from it. Okay, where's the boss snake? If the, Oh, motherfucker, get out of here. Oh, <laughs> okay, we one shot at his ass. Uh, here, don't worry about those yet. Kill this guy. This isn't doing any good. He's almost dead. Okay. This is actually going better than it did the first time I did it. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the mortar and pestle. Hallelujah. And we also got a book. Fucking A. Whew. Okay. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate your help there, Asher. You be careful out there. You want a bandage? Actually, he's in pretty good shape. I, <laughs> I feel bad about burning that other guy, but oh well. What can you do, right? Uh, let's go home and make ourselves a mortar and pestle. Also, uh, what what is this? Clubs. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to scrap this. And we can use the parts from it to... Here, let's read that. I don't know why I've got that. We'll use the parts from it to go towards uh, a sickle book. Good work, Goldie. You are the best dog an ap apocalyptic survivor could ever want to have. Beautiful. Nice work, Goldie. Okay. So, okay, do we need the forge for the for the mortar and pestle? Oh, no, we just need the toolbox and some large rocks. I don't have any large rocks. We need to go get some. Um, probably not going to find any out there because I think I've already harvested all of those boulders. I've harvested all the boulders out here, too, now that I think about it. I mean, I know we could... We probably should just dig down under the ground because I need clay also. Okay, um, we don't want to dig near a POI unless we mostly want clay because the clay goes down a lot further when it's near a POI. What we could do, we do have a, a mine started here. Um, so yeah, why don't I go ahead and uh, where's my shovel? Oh, yeah, that's right. I still have a shitty stone shovel. I completely, <laughs> completely forgot about that. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig down, get a little bit of clay, and get down to stone. Because, you know, we need to dig this mine out anyway. Since it's our, what is it, our coal mine? Yeah, I think it's our coal mine. And when I have the goods, I'll meet you guys back at the base, and we'll make our mortar and pestle. Okay. I got enough to make two. And maybe we'll even make more. So let's get that going. In the meantime, we'll do one of those. Looks like we can make a bacon and eggs. And we'll also make some grilled meat. That's stuff I can take over to the shredder later. I'm just going to stick it in there. This I want to take over to the forge. I don't know that we need the sledgehammer anymore, and if we do, I can always make one, so... Um, let's... Can I put this... Yeah, I can put that on there. It just gives us a little more block damage. There's our first mortar and pestle. And for now, let's just set it down here. Whoops. Wrong button. Okay. So, what we need... We can start making gunpowder, too, so that's good. But what we need is... We need p these powders here. i got to figure this out. Zombie putty. 
That's like the guts episode, I think, in the in uh, Walking Dead. Okay, so if we look in the campfire. Mind control brew. Oh, wait a minute. I thought that would... I thought that was unlocked for us now. Mind control brew schematic. Hmm. How do we get the mind control brew schematic? Oh, so, okay. So we can make these now, but we, we got to get the alchemy bench. Oh, we craft it. Duh. <laughs> it was me being dense. It was me being dense. Okay. <laughs> Ramsey's rolling his eyes right now. Yeah, he told me this stuff too, but here's the thing about it. It's, just, it's so hard to remember everything, you know? Um, that's my excuse. Okay, this brew can only be consumed by a witch doctor. Drink it at your own risk. Once consumed, witch doctors will deal double the damage when using the size primary attack and be able to turn. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. That's not. I mean, yeah, that is right. That's the schematic. Okay. Right. Okay. So, so when we drink this, then the scythe has the chance of turning the Zeeks, and we also can now make the arrows. But we need the alchemy bench. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Um. Let's make three of those. I'm gonna eat. Uh, we'll probably just eat all of this. Oh, shoot. It takes water away. Yeah, he told me that, too. So that's a thing. Uh, we, but we get uh, stamina reach in. and it, Okay, it lasts for five minutes. Okay, that's a decent amount of time, I think. Because most engagements aren't going to last more than five minutes. Well, actually, in this mod, <laughs> maybe maybe they will. Uh, all right, so that's that's good. Now, we need the alchemy bench, ladies and gentlemen. Um... I believe that is also 1,500 cash, so we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to spend the rest of today and maybe uh, a little bit tomorrow morning before I start the next episode wrenching cars to raise the money uh, to do that, uh, you know, to get the alchemy bench. I know we have that job to do too, but uh, if we look at this, He's only going to pay us 150. I mean, that is not worth our time for the purpose of raising cash. Now we will do it so we can go there and get, you know, medicine and get the XP. But for the purpose of raising cash, that is not worth my time. I can raise way more money than 150 cash in the same amount of time by wrenching cars. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to let you guys go here. And in the next episode, um, I will, when we start up the next episode, I will have raised at least 1500 cash and we'll go buy the schematic from uh from the guy over there whose name i can never remember and <laughs> and then we will make the alchemy bench and then we can be a true witch doctor thanks everybody for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and we'll catch y'all in the next episode Bye bye